Okay, welcome back to Kentucky Budget Prepper. This is Steve. Uh, just going over a quick EDC of what I carry every day. I see everybody's doing them, so I figured I'll jump on a bandwagon and give you a little show of what I carry every day. Um, first off, it's just let's get this out of the way. It's just a cheap little Walmart special minimalist uh, wallet that my wife bought me, and you can see I'm totally rich right here. Two dollars on me. I don't carry much money on me. I should, should carry you know at least fifty, sixty dollars on me every time. But it's just a cheap wallet I got from my wife got me for uh, from uh, Walmart. I carry a, I wear a G-Shock. It's just a, I keep getting out of frame. I'm sorry about that. It's just a basic one. I don't like all the bells and whistles. This has the analog. It does have the uh, date on the bottom. It does have have a stopwatch and all that stuff, but. I don't like all the full digital, I like the analog look. So that's what I wear every day. I have a nice Evicta that my wife bought me that I wear for going out, but uh, this is the everyday. This is what I wear for work, working around the house, just everyday shopping, whatever. And my car keys. I'm very, I don't like a lot of stuff in my car keys. Uh, I see people that have 5,000 things on them. I don't like it. So this is just a uh, cable wire cable I got a pack of like 12 or 15 of them for seven bucks off of Amazon they had screwed together and uh, my wife had this just that she was using for her keys but she stopped using it so I took it just to put on my belt uh, I don't have fancy knives like other people do I'm an electrician so I have a Klein knife my Klein knife it's a it's a nice knife don't get me wrong it's a it has a one-handed opening. It's a three and a half inch blade. It's uh, the 440 stainless steel. It has a nice sharp edge on it, and as you can see, it's got some wear on it from me using it. I use it every single day. Um, it's got the uh, lever lock in the handle. It's got the two thumb uh, tabs for on both sides for ambidextric. Ambidextrous. I can't even say that. I'm so sorry. Um, so you can use it in each hand, with left or right-handed. Has a pocket clip that's uh, in, that's deep. It's what's it called? A deep pocket, low carry pocket clip. Um, it is set up uh, right now. The way it's set up, it's like right-handed, but um, has aluminum body and it has a rubber grip right there for a little bit of better grip on it. Uh, it's seen some wear and tear. I carry this thing every single day has a lanyard hole if you wanted to put a lanyard on it. I mean, I got this for $25. I had a camouflage one that I got years ago. I still have it. But it's just the clip is worn out and it's just it's just, you know, been beat up. And I saw this one when I was in a supply house and picked it up, a new one. Um, I carry an Olight. A lot of people have, I've seen a lot of uh, people talking about these online. Uh, other uh, uh, YouTube channels, and this is the uh, Olight IT3 EOS. It has two different settings. It has a five lumen and 180 lumen. It has a butt uh, butt bomb switch. Momentary. It can, you can do momentary. You can do steady on. And if you click it again, each time you click it, it goes different. So there's, uh, it's hard to see here. Let's see. There's the five. There's the 180. So I'll try and blend in. I had took some picture, a video lot the other night of me using this outside. I'll try and uh, blend it in here. It has a belt clip for. Um, you can carry it either way. You can carry it with the button up or the button down. It's a great light. It's uh, aluminum. It's uh, it's water resistant. It's um, what is this called? It's a double helix body, aluminum body, water resistant. It's IPX8 um, rated for water resistance. It can take, uh, be used in heavy downpours. Uh, it's pretty good. Like I said, I like it. Um, the only thing I, the down thing that I have about it, I keep it in my pocket next to my pocket knife. And when I do in my pants, every now and then, that, that'll come on and I won't know it's on and it'll kill the battery so that's the only negative I have to say about this is because it's it, if I sit down or if my seatbelt hits a certain way I mean it is a pretty stout um, button but for some reason somehow I do 
I do hit it every now and then. It'll come on, and I won't. I won't realize it until afterwards. Um, I got a. This is a, a Fisher Space Pen. It's a seventeen dollar pen off of Amazon. It writes in anything because the the cartridge is. Uh, it's pressurized. You can write upside down in the rain. Um, you can write anywhere, anything, any angle, and it'll 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 write. It's a aluminum type base. Let's see, what is this exactly? It's made in the USA, um, and it's uh, like I said, it has a lifetime promise against manufacturing defects. So if you have a problem with it, you can return. I got this off Amazon. Uh, I got the Olight off Amazon. Um, I'll put links in it. I'm not an affiliate. I'm not gonna make any money off of anything that I post any links. So I'll put that on there. Um, uh, I just have a, a simple Galaxy uh, i70. What was it? A71? i71? I got my notes over here. It's a Galaxy a71 5G cell phone. It's been beat up in a cheap case. Um, that my wife got off of Amazon to protect it. It's got a screen saver on it. Uh, but it does the job. It works. This is how I started my videos right here. With this right here. Uh, it has an, like an uh, additional uh, memory card that you can put inside of it for additional storage. So, Plus have the internal. Um, the fancy stuff. Alright, let's talk about it. It's a little dirty right now. I didn't clean it lately. I carry a um, Smith & Wesson it. Let me just get it in here. It's in the view for you. Smith & Wesson. And let me make sure so you guys know it's clear. It's clear. I checked it beforehand. It's a Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. This is the compact version. It's a 15 plus 1. There is no uh, safety on the slide. There's a safety. The, the trigger, the type of trigger it is. It's an axis type of trigger. Um, it's got this great, great finish on the uh, grip that I like. And now I will tell you, against your body, if you're wearing it underneath a t-shirt, that can be a little rough on you. But other than that, it's great. It fits great in my hand. It's, it's, a comp it's supposed to compete against the uh, Glock 19, which my wife has. I've been carrying this for a year now with no problems whatsoever. Um, it comes with the uh, steel magazines, like I said. It's uh, 15 rounds, so it's 15 plus 1. And uh, it does the job. I love it. Um, I do. I have been thinking about going to a Glock 19 so that I'm, you know, doing that whole continuity of uh, weapons with my wife and stuff. But excuse me, I gotta move this up a little bit. It looks like it's trying to ease down on me. But uh, other than that, I do love that pistol, and I'm gonna probably carry it for a while. I carry it in uh, primarily in this uh, outside the waistband holster. It's a Kydex type of material, but it's not. It's almost like a plastic. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Um, it's from um, Phalanx Defense Systems, and it's called the Compact Stealth Operator Outside Waistband. Uh, they have a lifetime warranty, and this thing is amazing because it will fit 150 different handguns. Now, I can switch. If I have this on me and I want to switch something up and I want to carry my wife's uh, baby Glock, the Glock 26, it'll fit in here. If I want to uh, put her Glock 19X, it'll fit in here. Go back to my uh, Smith & Wesson 2.0. It'll fit in here, obviously. It has a retention set up, so you can hold this thing upside down. Which, let me see. I'm going to watch it make a liar out of me. So, I mean, that's upside down. I'm shaking it pretty hard. It's got pretty good retention. you got to give a little twist to get it out. Um, man, I really like this thing. I paid... Uh, I think I paid 30 bucks for it at one of the local uh, gun stores and you can go online and order them and like I said they have a lifetime warranty they're made here in the US so something uh, you know I like supporting anything made in the US it does have these uh, belt clips that are going in it will fit up to an inch and uh, 1.75 inch so inch and three quarter uh, belt so you can put that in any time you know Depending on what kind of belt you wear. Uh, I didn't put my belt because I bounce between, uh, and I don't like the one belt that I'm wearing right now. It's some kind of tactical belt that my wife got us. It's okay. It's just uh, I don't like, uh, I have to weave, the, weave it in and out, the belt through the buckle to get it on every day. And it's just kind of annoying, if you will. Now, 
I also carry, it's just off screen here, but I carry a backpack with me, small backpack with me everywhere I go. And inside of it, I'll have this. Now this is just a, uh, it's a Condor pocket pouch in Coyote. And inside of it, I just carry some stuff. I mean, you guys have seen all these. I'll do a video on just this pouch later. But this is with me every day. I mean, I have a marker in here. I have a pen, a Bic lighter, a ferrule rod, a right no rain tablet. Uh, I have a small, a backup knife over here. Um, then I have a little Gerber pry bar multi-tool thing that just resides right here and stays in there if I get it back in there now it's gonna fight me right uh, and inside here right now this is this is all change you know everything changes as time goes on but inside if I can get it out of here it's so small but so mighty inside here I'm sure everybody has seen this thing and my wife made fun of me because I ordered this. This is the Olight. And it's the I1R2 EOS. This is a USB. Let me see if I can open it. There. It's USB chargeable. The USB cords right in here comes with it. You slide that back in. And this is how you twist it to turn it on to different. You see the two different settings. You got, I think it's uh, five and like 180 or something like that. But this thing is, for as small as it is, it is super bright. Now my wife, um, she works in corrections, and she was looking for a small backup light. She carries a Stinger um, from Streamlight uh, light that she carries for her primary flashlight on her uh, duty belt. But she was looking for a backup, something she could put on a keychain or something like that, just to go, if that one ever dies, she has something to back up. And when this came in, she was making fun of me. Oh, how look how cute it is. It's so cute. It's so cute. Well, then I turned it on for her and I blinded her with it, and she instantly wanted me to order one. So I ordered one on Amazon. I think uh, the other Olight was like $19. This was like $17. Focus, there you go. Um, and I just keep that right in here as a backup flashlight because I always have, like I said, I always have uh, my other O light on me at all times. So um, this is just a quick run through of my EDC everyday carry. I'll do a more in depth one about the the pouch, and I'm sure it's going to change. More items will be added to it, or something will be taken out of it. But it is, uh, if you wanted to, it is it does have the Molly straps in the back it has a uh, velcro spot for your morales and it has a little pocket out front here you can put stuff in and i don't think i put anything in there yet no i didn't so but i'll do a thorough review on this later and my backpack which i've had my backpack for years now so it's older but man it, it's just useful i carry uh, numerous things inside that with this pouch and uh, when i'm at work if i can't carry my firearm on me this i will tell you it's in my bag uh, I never go anywhere without my firearm. Um, some people say paranoid, whatever. I say prepared. Uh, you never know what's going to happen out there. you got to protect yourself, your family, loved ones, and your belongings. So, anyways, uh, I don't want to ramble too long, make these, uh, this video real long. But this was a quick, uh, this is what I carry every single day to and from work, at work. Uh, at home a lot when we go when I'm going shopping I have everything if I, this may not be personally on me but it'll be in my backpack that's in my vehicle so again this is Steve with Kentucky Budget Prepper this is things that you should think about uh, do you have a, a little EDC bag that has a fire starter set and stuff like that do you have a backpack that you carry and my backpack like I said I have other survival items inside there uh, besides what I carry on me do you guys carry something like this have you thought about it maybe you should start thinking about carrying and have some type of setup what you're carrying and what you're not carrying. But uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, leave it comments in the in the com down in the comment section. I'll answer them. I try to get to them. There's some questions. I don't know how, but some comments get through, and I don't even get notified that they're there until I actually go through my channel and start looking at all the pictures. So um, if you have any questions, like I said, put them in the comment section. I'll answer them. Uh, if you um, 
If you like what you're seeing, if you're enjoying the videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share it to your friends and family. Hopefully I can give, uh, give you and your family and friends some good advice here and there. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm growing and learning as I go, and as I do, I share it with you so you can learn. And I love the feedback that I get from, the customer, from all the uh, people in the comments. So keep them coming. I'm learning from you guys as I go because you guys have some great ideas. So this is Steve with Kentucky Budget Prepping. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Keep, uh, keep vigilant and keep prepping.